15 Coolest Tech Gadgets, the best new tech for 2021. There's nothing quite like the excitement of buying a brand new gadget. Opening the box, pulling it out, slowly peeling off the protective stickers. It's always a thrilling moment for any tech fan. If you're missing that feeling, look no further than this list of the coolest gadgets. All the link of the product you find in the description below. DJI FPV Drone DJI's new drone beams the view from its camera straight to a headset back on terra firma. You see what the drone sees. It's a user-friendly version of what drone racing pilots use in competitions. The drone itself can move at a max speed of 140 km per hour, 87 miles per hour, and can reach 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2 seconds. It has a max range of 10 km, 6 miles, but you'll need a spotter who can keep an eye out for people or obstructions below while you fly. The tech is pretty power hungry, so you'll get a maximum of 25 minutes out of a flight, but it will be one hell of a ride. PS5 VR Controller Sony gave PlayStation fans a peek at the next generation of its PlayStation VR controllers, promising stronger immersion with adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, and finger touch detection for the PlayStation 5 virtual reality system. Details are thin on the ground about virtual reality on next-gen consoles, but Sony has revealed what its motion controllers, which will translate your hand movements into the virtual world, will look like. Of particular interest is the finger touch detection that senses where your digits are placed on the remote. This will enable you to pick up and manipulate objects in the virtual world in natural way. Be a sound emerge smart speaker. This might just be the best looking smart speaker money can buy. Beneath the bookish disguise, the Biasound Emerge is equipped with Google Assistant so it can control any compatible connected home tech. The audio is powered by a separate tweeter, mid-range driver and subwoofer so it will create room-filling, detailed sound, despite its size. And if you somehow have enough spare cash to buy too, you can pair it with a second speaker to create stereo sound. Sony FX3 Sony's FX3 is the smallest, cheapest cinema camera the company has ever made. It's built for filmmakers rather than photographers, so it can handle recording Ultra HD video at 120 FPS for long periods. It comes bundled with a handle that's ideal for shooting from low angles and it adds extra sockets for plugging in different audio inputs. There's also in-body image stabilization for when you're running and gunning. The camera will also play nice with Sony's yet-to-be-released AirPeak drone. At 715 grams, it's a bit too bulky to fit in your pocket, but it's light enough and small enough to take wherever you go. Keep an eye out for it in the hands of your favorite YouTuber soon. Xbox Wireless Headset The new official gaming headset for the Xbox Series 10 and S packs in a lot of features without costing a small fortune, and for once, it won't make you look like an extra in a Tron film. The cans are kitted out with the latest surround sound, Windows Sonic, Dolby Atmos and DTS, so that you can really hear those footsteps creeping up behind you. There's a smart retractable microphone inside, which can isolate your speech and tune down background noise. Plus, it offers an auto-mute option, which turns off the mic when you're done speaking, no more accidental heavy breathing over comms. We'll have to reserve full judgment until we can get a pair on our ears, but it looks like this could be the smart way to get immersive sound on your Xbox. Dyson Corel Hair Straightener Dyson, the company that's perhaps best known for its futuristic vacuum cleaners, has spent the last few years branching out into the world of hair care. Its most recent launch is the Corral Straightener, which joins a hair dryer and the Airwrap Styler in the lineup. Unlike the solid plates on other straighteners, Dyson claims that the Corral's patented flexing copper plates gather the hair while styling, allowing less heat to be used to get desired results. As hair styling aficionados will be aware, lots of heat leads to damaged and frazzled tresses. I've got a head full of curls, and while I've had my hair straightened at the hairdresser before, I've never tried doing it myself, so tried the Corral as a complete straightener rookie. What I liked about the Corral was that it can be used cord-free without losing any performance. It takes 70 minutes to fully charge, then you can unplug it and use it for 30 minutes without an irritating cord entangling your arms and smacking you on the head. If you're having a massive straightening sesh, however, you can simply reattach the cord to continue charging while you're styling. When you're done, just place back on the charging stand, no burnt carpets here. The straightener takes mere seconds to warm up, and has three heat settings, 165 degrees Celsius, 185 degrees Celsius and 210 degrees Celsius, with an OLED screen and a chirpy chime telling you when it's reached the desired temperature. It is suitable for all hair types, with the hotter temperatures recommended for curly or coily hair. I did find that I had to go over each section of my hair a few times to get a smooth finish, 
even when I had the heat turned up to full whack. Those with straighter hair may not have this problem, though. Like all straighteners, you can also use the corral to create waves and curls. Despite my beginner status, and aided by videos on their website, I managed to do this fairly easily, the lack of cord certainly made the necessary twisting and twirling a lot easier. Wything Scan Watch Studies show fitness watches can make it easier to keep fit. Health tech company Withings has been making great looking, fitness monitoring gadgets for years and their latest watch is no exception. The scan watch's traditional clock face hides some of the most advanced tech we've seen in a smartwatch yet. The medical grade ECG and oximeter take continual readings to provide a measure of the health of your heart and respiratory system. It's looking for signals that might suggest you suffer from arrhythmia or apnea, conditions that affect millions of Brits and for a large number of people go undiagnosed. It's also got automatic activity detection on board, that'll spot what type of exercise you're doing and GPS to log the routes you take for apps like Strava. Withings say its watch is water resistant up to 50 meters deep and so it'll handle a dip in the pool or, in our case, the sink. Our favorite thing about the watch by far though is its battery life which, though your mileage may vary, will last around 30 days between charges. We're also particularly fond of the vibrating, silent alarm too which gets you out of bed without waking the other half. Apple Watch 6. We've grown to love Apple's smartwatch. It's not just a great fitness tracker, it's that rarest of things, a piece of tech that can actually change your life. The multitude of sensors on board means the wristwatch can track your heart rhythm and it logs the data on your phone. If it spots any irregularities, it'll suggest you take a trip to the doctor, who can take a look at ECGs recorded by the watch. The Apple Watch will also keep an eye out if you fall or your pulse stops and alert emergency services if something's awry. There are other variables it'll track like your sleep, blood oxygen saturation and even heart rate variability, which scientists think could be a good indicator of your overall well-being. The future's bright for the Apple Watch 2. A study involving 400,000 participants by researchers at Stanford University found that a smartwatch and phone could be effectively used together to spot atrial fibrillation in wearers, one of the most common heart issues in the UK, though it's important to note that this feature hasn't been implemented yet. Similarly, Apple Watches are being trialed as a means of remotely tracking the condition of patients with chronic conditions like asthma and heart disease and it's even being deployed by the University of Washington School of Medicine to find out if it can predict the onset of flu or COVID-19 before a patient is aware of symptoms. Arlo Video Doorbell Offering a good balance between price, premium features, and usability, Arlo's Video Doorbell is our top choice for the best video doorbell if you want a high-quality smart doorbell that works reliably without being annoying. Its standout feature, telling the difference between people, animals, vehicles, and packages, and only sending you the notifications you want, means you don't get an alert every time a strong breeze sends a plastic bag down the street. Being able to create motion zones, so you get alerted only when someone, or the neighbor's cat, is in them, and the option to turn off all alerts when you are home, using the location of your phone to figure this out, ensures the smart doorbell doesn't become just another electronic annoyance but a useful security tool. Along with some of the best quality video we tested and a nice square video shape that shows you more of your doorstep than most, we like that it has a built-in siren you can set off from the app if you spot someone suspicious. Another thing that sets it on top of the pile is an answering machine option. While no one ever left us a message outside of testing, possibly because most people aren't used to talking to a doorbell, we can see potential here as smart doorbells gain popularity. Asus Chromebook Flip C436 Okay. Let's get the elephant in the room out of the way first, this is by no means a cheap Chromebook. If you're looking for a budget laptop, Chromebooks are great, but not this one. If, on the other hand, you are looking for one of the best Chromebooks out there, well then that is a different story altogether. To justify the thrifty appeal of most Chromebooks, corners are inevitably cut in the build quality, but for just under £1,000 of your hard-earned pennies, the Asus Flip is a beautifully crafted piece of kit that holds its own against the likes of Apple and other premium Windows machines. I'm not a huge fan of white devices as they tend to show up marks a little easier, but the one I tested had a subtle sheen to it that changes color when you look at it from a different angle. Very classy. The Flip part of the name comes from the fact you can twist the 14-inch touchscreen over itself and use it as a tablet or in tent mode, which along with the tiny bezel and four Harman slash card and powered speakers make it an excellent multimedia device. Under the hood is 10th generation i5 processor, 8GB RAM and 256GB SSD, which are pretty ludicrous specs for a Chromebook, possibly too much if you don't intend to do much more than a bit of web browsing, 
watching videos and getting past the first chapter of that novel you've been working on. However, as one of the first Chromebooks on Google and Intel's Project Athena program, it should be optimized enough to handle whatever you throw at it well into the future. At 1.1 kilograms, magnesium alloy body keeps things exceptionally light, the keys are backlit for nighttime typing, and another cool feature is the fingerprint reader, which works remarkably well, despite the fact that at first, I thought it was the power button. Trust GXD 258 Firu Streaming Microphone A good microphone is not something most laptops come shipped with, so if you are going to be shouting at your screen midfrag or recording your latest acoustic jams, you need to invest in a better mic. The Fryu is primarily aimed at streamers and gamers, and as all good gaming peripherals should be, is sturdy and black, with LEDs that you can change color depending on your mood with the push of a button. Inside the cylindrical unit are three microphones pointing in different directions, so you can pick between cardioid for recording your own voice sans background noise, stereo, face-to-face -face or omnidirectional, which will pick up 360 degrees of sound. Streamers, or people like me who spends most of their time on Zoom calls these days, will appreciate the zero latency monitoring, and anyone who does podcasting, also like me, will be thankful for the multi-directional recording for all potential interviewing situations. It also has a universal screw mount so you can easily adapt it to any kit you already have. At this price point, it's a really good mic for streaming and recording audio. The sound quality is clear, with the internal pop filter clearing out any annoying P&F sounds, and the mic is sensitive enough to pick up the scampering other people in the house if you have it to the right settings. Theragun Prime Massage Gun Recently you might have noticed that social media is filled with deeply satisfying slow-mo videos of people pummeling their legs with massage guns, but what exactly is going on? Well rather than having to fork out on physiotherapy, massage guns are like having a private masseur on hand for a quick post-workout session, the Theragun is the one such gadget. It looks like a cross between a weapon and a power tool, and actually when you switch it on you could be forgiven for thinking it's both, but in reality, the Theragun Prime is a percussive therapy device, designed to massage your muscles by rapidly applying pressure to your body up to 40 times per second. It claims to get 60% deeper into your muscles than other massagers, increasing blood flow and reducing inflammation, muscle tension, and working out any knots that have developed. The triangular handle makes it easy to hold from any angle, allowing you to really pick out problem areas without having to bend at all angles to get at it, and while it's far from silent, it's definitely not as loud as something beating at 2400 percussions a minute in your hand should be. The documentation for how to use the Theragun could do with a little work, and the app isn't super helpful either, offering only a few routines and a guide as to how much pressure you're applying. In fact, it was two weeks before I discovered you could switch it on without even needing to go through the app, however, once I worked out this now very obvious feature, I was using it daily. It was a revelation to be able to pick it up and work on knotted muscles I didn't even know existed and massage specific parts of my body that were feeling sorry for themselves after working out all day, read that is standing at my desk. I've mostly been using it at the beginning of the day to get the blood flowing and at night before bed, and it definitely releases some of the muscle tension that is built up over the day. EasyViz Ken Outdoor Smart Wi-Fi Camera The tennis ball size EasyViz Ken security camera is a solid bit of kit. It has to be. Within the first week of it being up, and in typical British style, it was battered by hail, rain and storms, before being roasted on the hottest day of the year. Installation is easy enough, so long as you have a drill to fix it to your wall, and the EasyViz app is refreshingly straightforward. You can toggle a full screen live stream and hitting record will save the footage neatly to your camera roll, as well as in the app itself. This live view feature is ideal if you want to use the camera for other reasons, like keeping an eye on the kids while you work from home, or even as a nature cam, and usefully, you can also hook up multiple cameras on the one system and share devices among users. But what we know you're really here for is to find out whether this is really a good security camera. Well, it doesn't disappoint. As for the video quality, Daylight vision is exceptionally sharp, and the colors are true to life thanks to the full HD 1080p resolution. But it's the color night vision where this camera really comes into its own. It has an embedded algorithm that allows intelligent sensing, so it knows the difference between humans and the neighborhood cat out for a prowl. And it's surprisingly sensitive too. The smart night vision mode uses two infrared LEDs that can see as far as 30 meters automatically and switches to color monitoring when it detects human movement. That along with powerful spotlights, any would-be thief is almost guaranteed to show their face on camera. You'll get a real-time alert, without needing to be glued to your feed. 
Video history storage is via Cloud Play, for which you get a 30-day free trial, or via micro SD card for local storage. Or it'll be a toothbrush. Okay, let's be honest, we're not totally sold on the idea of a gadget that winks and smiles at you when you put it in your mouth. That aside, this toothbrush is crammed with an almost implausible amount of tech. Sensors inside will track the brush's movement as you clean your teeth and map out areas you've missed. There are separate modes depending on your mood, like intense clean after a particularly sweary day or something gentler for those with sensitive gums. A new pressure sensor inside will also warn you if your brushing technique starts to verge into self-flagellation. Xiaomi Mi Air Charge. It's early days, but Xiaomi has shown off a demo of a product it's planning to put on sale this year. It's called Mi Air Charge Technology, and it uses 144 micro antennae to transfer energy to your phone via a narrow wave beam. According to Xiaomi's demo, you'd be able to walk into a room and your phone would start charging, even if an object was in the way. Eventually, Xiaomi says it could be used to charge multiple devices at once in the room it's sat in. It's tech we've seen presented at conferences before, but never so close to an actual final product.